delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Good day, Grade 11 learners! Welcome to Lantau Compre, our school on air through television. We are here for another episode for this week's Television-Based Instruction of DepEd, Division of Tagum City. I am your teacher, Maria Teresa Y. Calves, from Tagum City National Comprehensive High School. I might be a sweet talker, but I'm sure all I will speak of you today will be useful for you to become a good communicator. In your previous lesson, you have learned that language is an essential tool in communicating. This could refer to verbal and nonverbal language. But then, most of our communication is in verbal way, which means we use words to form phrases, clauses, and sentences. The use of words can make statements, request, ask questions, give orders, make promises, give thanks, offer apologies, and so on. However, in communicating, we must also observe some strategies for us to be understood and for us to understand each other. In other words, employing the right strategies in communicating is also a factor to achieve an effective communication. Are you now ready for your learning journey? Let us try first how much you knew about the new topic. Read each definition and answer each item with true or false. You will be given 5 seconds to answer. Write your answer on your paper. Question number one. Topic shifting is changing the topic of conversation. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Question number two. Nomination is used when you correct an utterance that is misunderstood. Is it true or false? The correct answer is false. Question number three. Topic control is done when you regulate the topic of conversation and how long we want the other person may talk. Is it true or 
false? The correct answer is true. Question number four. Topic restriction is the limiting the topic or subject in conversation. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Question number five. Termination is the ending of conversation. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Question number six. Turn taking is allowing the participants the opportunity to talk. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Question number seven. Repair is when the speaker proposes a topic or subject for conversation. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Were you able to get the correct answer? I know you did. Don't worry, your scores will not be recorded since this is just an initial activity. This time, you will be given a clear explanation why we need to use and observe the strategies in communication. But, let us have our objectives first. At the end of today's lesson, you are expected to first identify and explain the types of communicative strategy. Second, differentiate each type of communication strategy by giving examples. Third, apply the types of communication in a given situation. And fourth, Realize the importance of using the various communication strategies to become an effective conversationalist. An effective communicator engages in an appropriate exchange of information. To successfully accomplish this, he or she must be communicatively competent. One way of achieving communicative competence is employing the communicative strategy in a particular communication situation. To get a clear view, let us explore the different expressions which will denote a certain communicative strategy. I want you to read along with me these expressions and statements which are classified into different categories and I want you to analyze how these expressions will be of help in achieving an effective communication. Now, observe the following types of communication strategies. First, we have nomination. This is the first communication strategy that a speaker should be familiar with. A speaker carries out nomination collaboratively and productively to establish a topic. That's why this strategy is being employed when you try to open a topic with the people you are talking to. Here are the examples. Why don't we talk about social media? Let's talk about love. What do you think? What do you observe on the expressions? Have you used these expressions when engaging in a conversation? Probably, yes. Am I right? Second, we have restriction. The second strategy that communicators must know is restriction, where a speaker is limiting a topic for conversation. This sometimes happens when the person wants to focus on a certain aspect of the issue under deliberation 
or when the time to discuss is very short. Here are the examples. Let us focus on our agenda. Another one, limit your talk on personal issues. Have you experienced using the following expressions when you want to focus on one aspect? Or the time to discuss is very short. Well, I think that would be a yes. Third, it's about turn taking. It is another communication strategy that we must be cognizant of in order to become the effective communicators. It is the process by which people decide who takes the conversational floor. It is a skill. And a turn is the time when a speaker is talking. Here are the examples. What do you think? Does it make sense to you? Have you used these expressions during conversation? Do you allow other speakers to take the floor during conversation? Of course, it is important to give ample time listening to others. Fourth, we have topic control. It means regulating or manipulating the topic of conversation and how long we want the other person may talk. To elicit specific information from a conversation is to control what is said and when. This is another strategy the communicator must master. Here are the examples. Yes, but Another one, let's not talk about it. Instead, let's talk about something else. What do you observe on the expressions? When do the following expressions usually utter? Sometimes, it is better to change sensitive topics, especially issues and rumors. Fifth is about topic shifting. This strategy refers to changing the subject in a conversation because the persons involved in the conversation do not find the current topic interesting. The communicators do not only talk about one topic from the beginning until the end. It is done without explicitly announcing the change of topic or it may be a new one and here are the examples. That's interesting, by the way. Let us go back to our subject matter. What do you notice on the expressions? Have you used these expressions to make the communication going and interesting? I think so. Six, we have repair. In conversation, repair means the correction by the speaker of a misunderstood utterance, either through self-initiated repair or corrected by others. Speakers address the problems in speaking, listening, and comprehending that they may encounter in a conversation. A speaker recognizes speech error and repeats what has been said with some sort of correction. Here are the examples. I mean, or what I mean is that, or another example, brother, then you add something. There are four varieties of repair. One, self-initiated, self-repair. This repair is both initiated and carried out by the speaker of a troubled source. Here is the example. I'm going to Mark's, I mean, Samo's birthday party on Sunday. Two, other initiated self-repair. This repair is carried out by the speaker of the trouble source, but initiated by the recipient. Here is the example.
going to have my final examination next week. What? I said, I'm going to have my final examination next week. 3. Self-initiated other repair In this type of repair, the speaker of a trouble source may try and get the recipient to repair the trouble. For instance, if a name is proving troublesome to remember. Here is the example. I need to pack my things tonight for our recollection on Saturday. So I need to get another... Um, another bag? Yes, that's right. A bigger bag. Four, other initiated, other repair. Here, the recipient of a trouble source initiates and carries out the repair. This is closer to what is conventionally called correction. Here is the example. Hey, aren't you glad that today is Sunday? Sunday is actually tomorrow. How do you find the expressions? Have you used these expressions? There are times you didn't notice it, but absolutely, you did. 7. We have termination. This last communication strategy refers to ending the conversation. It refers to the conversation of participants' close initiating expressions that end in a conversation. Here are the examples. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Another one. I'll send you an email. What do you observe on expressions? How do you end a conversation? Did you find it difficult to end a conversation? What are other expressions you have used to end in a conversation? There are people who find it hard ending a conversation, especially if it is an interesting one. But then, we must not exceed in our limits. We must know how to begin and when to end it. Lastly, we have some other significant expressions like People communicate every day to establish and maintain relationships, to know and understand themselves, and find meaning in the daily grind. Successful communication requires understanding of the relationship between words and sentences and the speech acts they represent. This time, let us have a short activity to assess if you really understand today's discussion. I want you to identify the strategies employed on the following statements. You will be given 5 seconds to choose the correct answer. Number 1. Do you have an opinion about it? The correct answer is turn taking. Number 2. One of the essential lessons I learned in this topic is the importance of using an appropriate communicative strategy in communication. The correct answer is termination. Number three, excuse me? I think we should take turns in speaking so that each idea would be heard clearly. The correct answer is Turn taking. Number four. You must speak first before I say something. The correct answer is turn taking. Number five. Have you heard the latest update on coronavirus? 
The correct answer is nomination. Well done, senior high learners! An effective communicator engages in an appropriate exchange of information. That is, the need to receive and provide information. Certainly, the way we communicate towards other people will surely affect us. The way we treat them, the kind of friends we have, and the type of work that we do. Communication is vital in our daily living. And that's the end of today's episode of Lantau Compre TV School on Air. See you all in our next session. Once again, this is your teacher, Maria Teresa Y. Galvez. Take time to always consider others as we communicate. Be careful not to instigate any troubles because words might hurt anyone like a double-edged sword. To communicate effectively, we must realize that we are all different on how we perceive the world. So be more understanding and even humane. Put in mind that our connection will be destroyed by a bad communication.